नमस्ते एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू लिव स्ट्रॉन्गर इफ यू हैवेंट येट सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज डू बिकॉज ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द व्यूअर्स ऑफ दिस चैनल आर एंड सब्सक्राइब हीट टू सो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन आर लेग मसल्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑफ विद आर डायनेमिक स्ट्रेच एज यूजल वी आर गोइंग टू डू आर ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रेच फर्स्ट फाइव रेपिटेशन्स ऑन ईच साइड and then we are going to do the hip opening stretch which i learned from squat university great stretch again you can use a kettlebell dumbbell or a weight plate to increase the uh, intensity of the stretch or you can do it without any weights but we are going to do five repetitions on each side making sure our hips open up for today's or lunges and squatting movements which we are going to do even for the greatest stretch it's five repetitions on each side dedicating this 2 to 5 minutes i think it takes mostly 5 minutes for me to complete three dynamic stretches is an excellent recommendation because this ensures that you are optimally ready for the exercises and also ensures the mobility if there are any mobility restrictions they are identified uh pre workout and you can definitely do few uh, bit of a uh, few exercises or add another few dynamic stretches to ensure that all those mobility restrictions are relieved so you can execute all your exercises without any kind of restrictions we have to make sure that we deep squat every day so if you are still unable to deep squat keep working on your calf and your inner thigh uh, you know mobility calf especially the calves uh, range of motion your calf muscles range of motion in terms of stretching forward to finish off my dynamic stretch i am going to use the kettlebell and then going to sit in a deep squat for 5 to 10 seconds ensuring i get a good amount of stretch in my inner thighs in my calves and also slowly push my weight onto my ankles to get a good mobility drill done at my ankle joint also the kettlebell or any kind of weight which you hold also helps you to balance yourself when going into deep squat if balance is an issue you can always use a weight or can use a support supporting rod and that's it we are done with our dynamic stretching to start off our warm up i am going to do walking lunges here the distance i am not very sure how far is it but to and fro from the starting point till the midway and back again to the starting point i was about to get i was able to get about uh, 12 repetitions on my each leg so six repetitions one way and six repetitions the way back now the stride i tried getting a long stride initially but my i felt a little bit of restriction in my right hamstring so i switched to a shorter stride but if you are able to get it please do take as long stride as possible i like to touch my knee on the ground gives me a little bit feedback if you are not comfortable it's okay you can just stop near the floor you don't have to touch the knee focus on the lunge and that's it for our warm up now for our first exercise i am going to work on my calf muscles the standing calf raises again the weight i loaded is similar to what i did last time 50 kilos in total and i am going to do three sets as many repetitions as possible i was getting 12 to 15 repetitions with this weight on my back i most probably would be able to get more but i am trying to keep it a little bit in balance because i also want recovery to happen uh, overloading or stressing them i would not be able to train my calves again tomorrow so i want to get as much volume as possible with regular training so three sets 12 to 15 repetitions take a weight which is challenging which lets your uh, which let blood flow into your calves your calves must feel really tight once you're done with every set it's good feedback that there's a lot of blood flow and your calves have done their work the last set i tried to be a little bit explosive in terms of doing the calf raises you can do the calf raises in shoes i'm just choosing here not to do it barefoot i like to do it barefoot but otherwise you can do it with shoes important part is to feel the calf contractions 
that's it for our first exercise now for our second exercise we are going to do lunges but this time i'm going to use weight weights so now there are two ways to actually more than two ways to load your lunges you can do it like i'm doing holding a couple of dumbbells in each my in each of my hand you can use kettlebells too you can also use a barbell which you can put on your back and then do the lunge a little bit more demanding on your core because you have to balance the barbell on your back or you can use weight bags few gyms also have weight bags from 5 10 15 20 kilo weight bags which you can just mount on your back those are a bit easier to control but otherwise here i am using simple dumbbells for dumbbells just to make sure my grip is not a limiting factor i'm using straps so i'm not worried about the dumbbell slipping off my hands or focusing really hard so you can use gloves and straps too as my warm up my working sets were also similar i was able to get 6 to 7 repetitions per leg each way so so total 12 to 13 repetitions sometimes i was taking a shorter stride as my legs started getting tired but so it moved from 12 to 13 repetitions on each leg three sets what i want you to really focus is when li- uh, doing the lunges you can really feel your inner thigh outer thigh your hamstrings your quads working really hard to keep you in balance every time you lunge so take it slow you don't have to be in a hurry as you can see i go as slow as possible and there are two ways also again to do lunges you can take a step in between get straight and then lunge again or you can go in a continuous lunge where you go from one stride to the other the choice is yours as i mentioned earlier i was feeling a little bit restriction in my hamstring so i choose to stop take one step straight in between every lunge to regain my balance and complete the number of repetitions so if you don't if you are feeling tired you can obviously regress the exercise by taking one step in between where you get straight and then lunge forward again or you can do continuous lunges if you're comfortable weights it's up to you if you're able to hold weights please do i started with 10 i was able to move up till 17.5 kilos in each hand again straps are quite helpful in managing the weight while doing the lunges my focus was entirely on my legs and by the time i finished i was already done <laughs> for my leg day quite tired but we have few more exercises to go so that's it for our second exercise let's go on to our third exercise for my third exercise i am going to do three sets again 12 repetitions challenging weight of abductor exercise here i have an abductor machine so i'm using it if you don't have one you can use resistance bands or resistant tubes i have done this previous in my previous videos working our at abductors is quite important especially your glute medius and glute minimus which are quite vital for balancing and support for my last set i tried to go a little bit heavier than my usual it was quite challenging but i was trying to push as hard as possible my glutes were by now on fire thanks to the lunges plus the uh, abductor exercise they were contracting constantly but it's a good amount of exercise as good amount of volume which we are giving to the small muscle group which usually goes unnoticed and that's it for our third exercise for a fourth exercise i am doing two sets 12 to 15 repetitions of hamstring curls with as heavy weight as possible and as good uh, contraction as possible so you can see by my facial expressions i was trying really hard to get the curl the weight two sets 15 repetitions challenging weight don't take an easy weight take a challenging weight increase it Uh, if you feel easy in the first set decrease it if you are unable to com- uh, complete 15 12 to 15 repetitions and for my last leg exercise i am going to do leg extensions again two sets 
12 repetitions, explosive, as heavy as possible. So I was able to get more than my body weight. So I was really happy. By now my legs were fried. It was high intensity leg workout. And to close off with, we are going to do our static stretches. I am really grateful for all of you who have joined today to work along with me. If you like the video, please do drop a like. If you have any feedback, please comment. And if you haven't yet subscribed, as I requested earlier, please do subscribe to the channel. It gives me a lot of positive feedback. I am closing off with two favorite static stretches of mine, the quad stretch and the hamstring stretch. I have done two sets of both of them, 15 seconds hold for each leg. I hope the video was really helpful and I hope to see you tomorrow again. If you do feel any kind of tightness, more tightness at any uh, muscle of yours in the lower body, do use a foam roller or a massage gun or even the hand massage would do well to release tension. That would really give you some good relief from the tightness. Otherwise, static stretches should help you. You can do even three sets of static stretches. On that note, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video.